Hello, I'm Em from Jelly.io, and I'm excited to show you how Jelly can streamline incident coordination and communication with our incident response bot. Let's dive right in. The only Slack command you'll need to remember is slash Jelly. From here, you can create a post-incident investigation, start incident response, get help, which will change its suggestions based on where you are in the in an incident, and the commands list. From here, you can see every available command and run it using the corresponding button. Let's start by using the open button to create an incident. We'll add a name. We'll have it create a main JIRA ticket for us and select the stage of response we're currently in. We can add any relevant channels we need to send updates to and assign ourselves a role. We can also create a Zoom or Google Meet call as an additional communication channel. Now, this creates a dedicated Slack channel to coordinate response and notifies the broadcast channels a response effort has been started. Since I've been assigned an incident commander, I've been sent a custom message created for this role to help me get started. Let's add more details, like a summary of what we know so far with slash jelly summary. Now we'll add what we understand the severity of the impact to be with slash jelly sev. We have a few ways to update the status because we want folks to be able to move fast in whichever way makes the most sense for how they work. First, you can run slash jelly status, hit enter, and add your update. You can also type out your update after the status command, like this. If a message already sent in the channel has a relevant update, you can react to it with a mega, push pin, or mailbox emoji to make it a status update. And if there's a message in another channel you want to turn into a status update, you can use a message shortcut to publish it. So we've identified additional impact and the scope has grown. To reflect this, I'll update the severity using the slash jelly sev command. And it's suggesting that I update the stage. Since we need to investigate further, I'll move the stage back to investigating. Now let's utilize the paging feature to bring in some backup by using the command slash jelly page. Because a lot has changed, I'll update the status to let folks know what's happening. Let's go check out our broadcast channel. All of the additional details we've added and changed have been live updating here, and each update is threaded below. There's also a link here to the incident page. Here we can see the same details in the broadcast message available on a web page where folks can follow along. This acts as an internal status page great for parts of your organization who want to follow along outside of Slack. Let's check on the progress in the channel. Oh good, it looks like we have more details. Let's update folks by making that a status post. Now, this hasn't happened before, so I want to create a quick follow-up for myself to look into how we've been receiving and processing these links, which I can do with slash jelly remind. If I want to create a JIRA ticket for my team, so it's not just on me to figure out how we got here, I can use slash jelly JIRA to create a ticket directly from Slack. Excellent, the links have been restored, and now that impact is mitigated, let's update the stage of response that we're in. At any point, while we're changing stage or severity, we can update which broadcast channels we want updates to go to. We can remove or add new channels throughout the incident. When we move to mitigated, Jelly starts to import this Slack channel to create an opportunity in Jelly to run an incident review. Since we have a more complete understanding of what happened now, we can update the name and summary to reflect what we know. Now it's asked me if I want a reminder on this follow-up. This feels like a problem for tomorrow me, so let's schedule that. Behind the scenes, Jelly has been creating our opportunity, and here it is. Everything has been updated accordingly in the broadcast message, so our stakeholders know we're good to go. Now we're ready to head into the Jelly app where we can begin our analysis, use the narrative builder to tell the story of how we got here, and turn this incident into an opportunity to learn about our systems and our organization. If you want to check out Jelly's Incident Response Bot for yourself, head over to jelly.io and start a free trial today.